Hey there, it's me Muddlink and welcome to a brand new Lost Sanity. So today we're going to be starting the Pokemon Volt White Hardcore Nuzlocke. So, this is my favorite Drayano hack. Storm Silver and Sacred Gold are um, a close second. And I would, would have played it, but the problem is... Uh... Sorry, it's a little white barrier there I noticed. So I would have known, uh, I would have like done it, but they're still doing the updates to add in stuff from um, Renegade Platinum. So instead, I'll play this game instead. I love it to death. If you Joriano's the person you you come to when uh, you want a ROM hack that is just a pure difficulty uh, hack, not like you know story hack or anything. They do they do add some story events in Sacred Gold and Storm Silver just to like you know, not make uh, Team Rocket completely you know, shit. But for the most part, it's just a difficulty hack. They do a pretty damn good job at it. They make it hard as well as you know giving you options, and of course, no feature creep. So that means like you know. Like, EV and IV training, of course, are important. No, EV training, at least. There's no, um, nature changer, at least not. Well, I mean, I don't know if he's ever going to touch Volt White or Blaze Black with this kind of thing. He did it for Blaze Black 2 and Volt White 2. And I hear it's, like, the easiest Drano hack now. I'm f I mean, I'm fine with, you know, some hacks doing that if it's required, if you really do need it. But most of the hacks that need it, they tend to not be super hard anyway. They just tend to be, you know, just... Here. Here's a team building. Here, here's to practice your team building. Which, I mean, is helpful for Radical Red. You know, helpful, you know. Help me out with Radical Red, you know, team building. The importance of it. Importance of finding counters as well as, you know, having options just in case one of your counters goes down to something bullshit. Yeah, in any case, I'm just get started with this. We're not going to, you know, read any of the story for this. Because, I mean... Who cares? It's not much different. Just changing up some things here, sorry. This is it. There's not really much story stuff that's different here, just this ha this dialogue just a little bit different. Anyway. Uh since we're playing Advance Wars Dual Strike on the channel. There we go, Sammy. So yeah, uh, all the rules for my, the Hardcore Nuzlocke are in the description. Nothing's changed from the last run.
And I can promise you this time, I am going to do a video about this. Even if it's going to take a decent amount of time, because I, after the winter, after the Christmas break, I'm recording this on the 26th. After the Christmas break, I'm going to be very busy, so there's not much I can really, so you know, I can't really, um... I can't really do too much uh, after the break. Like I, I still have some games I can prepare, you know, like and I can still work on. But I mean, it's gonna be a lot harder for me to record videos after the winter break. So I'm gonna try to get as much in as I can. Like Dual Strike, I'll try to finish during the Christmas break if I can. This game is definitely not gonna be finished during the Christmas break. That's for sure. So. Yeah. This is get started with this here. So yeah, if you want to find the documentation, you know, it has a Google Drive on his YouTube channel. So here's the three starters. So how we're gonna do this run is, with each run we're gonna rotate the starter. So we're gonna go Snipey, Tepic, Oshawa in that order for the entire time. Even if you know there's you know two of them that are pretty much the best ones to choose, and one of them kind of just being all right. No, I mean whatever. It, it's they're all still they're all still good. I like I like all three of them. So Snivy is my favorite of them because you know, Grass Dragon as the superior. Only a slight increase to HP, but it gets Contrary, which is one of the best abilities to have. Sadly though, it's a 50/50 chance. If you if uh, if I'm gonna be in later runs, like after like maybe attempt seven attempt six, where like once I'm on attempt seven, you know I'm gonna be on Snivy again, and I don't get Contrary, I'm just gonna reset. Because contrary is super important. For right now, I don't care too much, but for late, for uh, you know, eventually, you know, it's just gonna be like, yeah, there's no point in continuing with Snivy after this if he doesn't, if it, if it doesn't have contrary. So, yeah. Next, we have one of the like, well, not my favorite is pretty much the best one in this game, M uh, Tepig. So Embor, so all I mean, as a Pignet, it becomes a fire ground type. It gets adaptability as a second ability, and it gets you know buffed up HP, attack, and defense. Even special defense, slightly lower speed and a lot lower special attack, but speed, I mean, doesn't matter too much. You get flame charge if you want to, you know, get this thing to be speedy. But yeah, also, I forgot to say, uh, all three of the starters here have a chance of holding, you know, like Miracle Seed, Charcoal, and Mystic Water. 50% chance. So that'd be good. But I mean, it's fine to not have it. And that's my, probably my least, my, definitely my least favorite of the three, but it's still good. It's Oshawa, so a duo becomes a water fighting type. As Vital Spirit is a second ability, which kind of sucks. And as a Samurai, it only gets like, it gets increased speed to 80, so that's good. Lower special attack for some reason, it doesn't really matter too much. And it gets a whole bunch of good fighting type moves. So it isn't bad because water fighting is an amazing type combination. But you know, there's definitely it's definitely like the worst of the three for you know early game. For mid game, I'd say it's like pretty good but I mean fire ground with adaptability that's just that just tears through most of this game and contrary is just contrary you know anyway I'd say when it comes to early game the best one's Tepic for sure like from gem 1 to 4 Tepic slash Fig Knight's pretty it's Tepic side a Tepic you know to Embor or whatever it's pretty damn good Seems to be a battle here. Da -da -da -da. You know, let's check it out. Contrary, fuck yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry for that. Even <laughs> even when I have a cell phone, uh, you know, still more calls. With a cell phone and home phone, there's always gonna be calls and I have a fucking recording. That's fine. Anyway, contrary. Thank God. I love that ability. Yeah, this battle's easy. Thank you for increasing my defense like an idiot. Say so, yeah, more of this. Blah, 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 blah. Don't care about getting the voices because it's like, yeah, it's just like most, pretty much mo all, of, all, like all of the dialogue, pretty much is just vanilla, black and white. Thank you. Love the AI doing that. I got myself Vine Whip. 
see what hardy. So I think it's yeah, just I my IVs. Uh, I have lower attack IV, which kind of sucks a little bit, but you know whatever. So you get a bicycle immediately, which is based. Oh yeah, also there's a whole bunch of codes I could use, but I tried using them, I like tried using them just like see if they worked. And none of them seem to work. Well, maybe I'll try again after, see if maybe it's just something I can do. But it seems like I can, so it's gonna suck for uh, if I wanna get like, oh, like a water stone for example. Oh sure, I mean, maybe I can find like an item code for that. Was it? I don't give a shit. It's like, oh, use cheat codes, or whatever, just to get items, or whatever. It's like, yeah, that's it. I don't use cheat codes for fucking, uh, like, keeping myself alive and shit, increasing stats that are, like, impossible to increase, you know? It's just forgetting items. I don't mind grinding just because I have a chance of getting shiny, but, like, when it comes to, uh,. Like, if I need an item and it's only available through fucking dust clouds, like the gems and all that, I'm just fucking gonna cheat them in. Like, it's a pain in the ass. It's a fucking pain in the ass to, um, to do all that shit, you know? So I accidentally said no. Whoopsie. See, so yeah, going off. Da, da, da. So we're gonna get the catching tutorial, and then we can finally catch our first Pokemon. The only thing I'm hoping for is, I'm hoping for a flying type here, because you can get two flying types here. It's gonna be very helpful. Right, hang on a second. All right, sorry about that. I'm not clicking the fucking game. Oh, fucking... Okay. Back again. Fuck it now. Anyways, two... Two Pokemon I would want from here. Let's see, which one am I gonna get? Shit, well, I mean... Yes, this isn't too bad, at least. It's not Pat Rat. But it still isn't, you know... Amazing. So it gets intimidate and scrappy as a stoutlin as a herdier and stoutlin, so you know two pretty good abilities. It's a tr extra HP and attack. You know. Not too bad. Hopefully this one has pickup. Thank you. Let me try. There's Popo. Impish, there you go, that's good. Pick up, nice. Perfect. The thing I'm gonna need to do now is train them up a little bit. Because the end fight, the reason why I needed a flying type is mainly for the end fight. Like Pidgey. There we go, I would have loved that Pidgey. Here, give me my speedy, uh, speed uh, EVs. Kudut's like the best one to get here. I should get the potion. Actually, you do so little fucking damage. Yeah, I go too fast like that. <laughs> Can't really control myself. So level eight should be good. If I'm, remember if I'm remembering it right.
Thank you. Potion. Ah, oh, you dickhead. I guess Fail Spirit would be pretty good to have now. Ouchie. That was risky. There you go, let's buy it. So I have yet to pick something up. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Front. Wait, was it rustling grass or am I was I just hearing wrong? It's gonna go Pokemon Center here. Uh, is there anything down here? Can't remember. Okay, I uh, don't think so yet. Nope. Thought there'd be an item down there. Don't really matter. But I'll still buy them anyway. Oh, okay, now it's just this battle, which I think I should be perfectly fine with dealing with. So yeah, it's the only thing that sucks is just N is is. is strong Pokemon for right now, and you kind of need like, a little, like unless you pick Tepic, you kind of need specific Pokemon, you need specific Pokemon, so yeah it starts off with Ninkata here. Flinch him, fuck. Okay, how much is that gonna do? Six damage, okay that's not too bad. I would have been able to two hit him. Shit, well. Okay, there's Mankey. That's shit, oh no. Oh, Defiant! Fuck, he has Defiant! Okay, well, thank you for increasing my defense. So, this isn't that bad. I didn't think of that. Well, he's not gonna crit here because. Yeah, you didn't scratch immediately after. Okay, so we're fine. <laughs> Everything almost went south there. And lastly, Pearline. Is she them? I don't know, I'll look up trainer stuff after. Actually, I can check right now, since we're, we're, we're pretty much gonna beat him. So, trainer rosters. Okay, no, that just shows the Pokemon they have. Important trainer rosters. Uh, doesn't show movesets. Shows abilities. Well, not all for all of them. Fuck, these documentations. This documentation sucks, Drayano. God damn it. Well, whatever, I guess. We're just gonna have to guess what moves they get. That actually kinda sucks. I don't remember the documentation being this bad. Okay, well, there you go. No deaths, a little bit close call there with Defiant happening. 
Everything's fine. Well, that's just for the music. You change it, don't care. We're not coming back to this place anyway. I think here in Vintage White, this is where you get like the pan the the monkey replacements. By talking to the girl here, she just does rock paper scissors. You get to choose. It's like between Psyduck, Ponyta, and Paris, maybe some other grass type. I don't remember. But do maybe. Yeah, Chugga Conroy is making a good point when it comes to her. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid trainers right now. At least they don't have a. At least they don't have like a. There's no like dynamic level curve, so I can come back to them if I need to way later just to get extra cash. Give me something. Don't give me Patrat. Yeah, I'll take that. Weedle's good. I'll take that. Also hoping for Caterpie, but I mean, yeah, Beedrill's good too. It's Sniper and Poison Touch. Uh, the Kakuna, all the Cocoon Pokemon have uh, Battle Armor, so you can do like Eevee like Kakuna, which is which which would you know be funny. So, yeah, attack and speed for Beedrill is set up to 95, and they get Sniper, so yeah, it's pretty cool. He's just gonna fucking bug bite me, so I gotta switch out. Oh, thank god I did not kill. What the name, you though? Have I ever used B drill tier in this channel? Uh, I can't remember if I ever have. I'm just giving a tradition of naming all of the, the regional bugs trash. Even though you're pretty good here. Poison touch. That's fine. Man, naive. Hey, that's pretty damn good. Got a good nature finally. For actually, no, I got impish on Lily Pop. That's good. Hey, it's another good nature. I'm getting good luck for this run right now. So I bring you the front. Gets you some EXP. Voodoo, that best time to fucking bring in you. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna... I'm doing much damage. Poison Tail, I'm not gonna switch out. Because you can do too much damage. Yeah, no, that would have been pretty good too, actually. Ah, fuck it. Fighting her. Just with that many Pokemon. That could be bad. Oh, nice crit. Okay, 
Pidgey, now I'm gonna switch out to you. Fuck. Gotta be careful though. 14's my big level cap. First evolution already. Yeah, that means actually we're gonna have battle armor, so that's even that's even better for you. You're gonna be pretty good for uh, for using you for not if you don't want to take any crits. because I don't have many potions. Purloin is definitely a really bad Pokemon to get to. XP there, jeez. Flinch, yeah, poison, whatever. No, no poison damage on the overworld, so I don't care. Still gotta be careful. I mean, I'm probably going to at least go to make it to when I get to No, I remember, I can get the Dream Yard, I can get a Dream Yard encounter, so Go until there And Bianca fight, she's not gonna have much, she just has Well, I'm not gonna speed up like I promised, so... The technician version is scary as shit. You still don't have to worry about crits with you. You still do so much fucking damage. Even with the minus one attack. I mean, yeah, this is gonna be piss easy. Another easy fight. <laughs> School, I can get full heal from you. I'll deal with fucking stupid Charon after. Okay, 
to remember what other items are here. There's dive ball. XP. Great ball. Time to deal with these guys. Which, you know, they made more easy trainers here. Fuck this little stupid thing. Wait, don't. Oh, fuck. Don't you get quick attack? Yeah, you get quick attack, so... You're gonna go for that. Fuck. Mm. Shit, you're just gonna wing attack you, and then... Shit. Gonna hope and pray. Oh, I outspeed. Never mind. Helping hand. Yeah, hell yeah. This can be useful for some things. I keep increasing my defense. It's fine. Be careful with this. This thing can have sap sugar. That's the thing for charming me. Okay, now I need to get a bee drill. Because this guy is fucking scary. Visual time. Fury attack. I mean, I'll get rid of poison sting. So I'm never gonna fucking use it. Cross poison, hell yeah. Rage, no. Look at that shit. Cross poison. Pretty sure I'm not gonna kill that Rattata on one hit that he has, so I remember. Yeah, there you go, I'm just gonna send that puppo. Yeah, it's level 11. Okay, shit. Flame load, nice dodge, he's hustle. It's a hustle Rattata, this thing is fucking horrifying. Uh, speed tie, hell yeah. Okay, good, no quick attack, thank you. Mm. 
Mm, there we go. Get a pan pour. Get like a whole new move set between the two, the share between the two of them, so you can evolve them whenever you want. They get the pledge moves and the yellow elemental hyper beams, gluttony, and so they have. And when they fully evolve, is unburden and then you know overgrow blaze torrent. So I'm hoping I get unburden. I hope well gluttony for right now. Sassy as shit, but torrent, ah, whatever. This one's especially important. Well, actually, because uh, it gets tickle, and it's gonna be pretty good for dealing with uh, the second gym and a little fun strategy. A certain YouTuber, a certain Twitch streamer, showing off. to fight off against Charon, and then I can get the Dream Yard encounter and end off the episode. He has a really fucking strong Pokemon, so he has a really fucking strong team later on the line. I remember he does have a Star Raptor, so he definitely starts off with Starly early on. Even though, you know, I'm not using documentation for early on besides, you know, the Pokemon changes. I still do remember Pokemon that they do have. Okay. Yeah, there you go, Starling. Yeah. Oh, I had an orange berry. It's perfect. That was lucky. <laughs> a little bit, at least. And there, it gets, it gets, it gets you cut, and you can actually use it right away to get a Dream Yard encounter. Shit, getting burnt sucked. Cuts a grass type move now, 60 power, it's damn good. I love the HM changes that they do as well. So now, what to... Who am I gonna catch? Spinda? Now... Spinda's 80 in every stat. Gets own tempo and contrary. So, you know, not too bad. Normal changes. It gets the normal changes. It's level 12. Oh god. Might have to run away if he's gonna do too much damage to me. Oh yeah. Yeah, running away. Are you fu- 
And now I run away. Well, there goes my starter. So this run's not going to last long, but I, s I can still go far in this run. Decently far in this run. God fucking damn it. Should have just ran right away. Tried running right away with Panport, but, you know. Fuck, man. That sucks. <sighs> so yeah, no dream yard encounter for me. I just have these three fuckers. And I gotta train up, yeah. Also get the rest of these items. Pluck. That's something that's good. Smackdown, that's something that's good. Struggle bug. There you go. Uh, anyone learn Smackdown? No. Exclusively gonna have to use Panpour. For the... The gym battle. Hang on a second. I'm gonna go through the gym. Like, well, most of it at least. Remember, it's, it does water, grass, fire, I think, for the the trainers. I s remember something similar to that. So I'm kind of kind of risk it a little bit. If I lose one of uh, one of the Pokemon during the during any of the trainer battles, I, I'm basically fucked. I have to reset because uh, it's you have to have three Pokemon, as Silent's gonna say here. So anyway, let's do this gym battle. Tr train for the next gym, for the actual gym battle off screen. Because I mean, yeah. Let's see if I was right. Water. Yeah. It's a slow poke, so it's even better. Okay, there's Growlithe. And there's Badoo. It's only like two trainers, so no worries here. Man, they're losing Ouroboros there. Fucking sucked. Yeah, give me a give me a fucking escape rope. Escape out of this fucking nightmare. Okay, he's the last trainer here. Hop up. Okay, now you start with the grass. So I just remember it wrong completely. Okay, slugma. Nuts. Yeah, sap super meryl, so Get the fuck away from that. Yeah, and that's it for this episode, because we got all the training done, all the trainers beaten. You know, it's just you gotta fucking train up these guys now. So next time on the Pokemon Volt White. Hardcore Nuzlocke, we're going to be taking on the first gym and hopefully making it as far as we can without having Snipey around, which is I don't think is going to be very far. I don't even think we're going to beat the second gym in this attempt. So, see you guys next time. Take care.